In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to flexible budgets and standard costs, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our crunchy numbers is my cardio product line. Now, I'm not saying that subscribing to this channel, crunching numbers with us, will make you thin, fit, and healthy or anything. However, it does seem like it worked for her. Just saying. So, you know, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and buy some merchandise. So you can make the world a better place by sharing your accounting instruction exercise routine. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. First question. Department usually responsible for the direct materials price variance, either A, the accounting department, B, the production department, C, the purchasing department, D, the management department, or E, the cost department. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Department usually responsible for the direct materials price variance. Either A, the accounting department. So we might think, well, maybe we're doing the accounting process, managerial accounting. B says the production department. So we're talking about the materials. So maybe production sounds kind of reasonable. C says the purchasing department and they're going to be purchasing stuff so and we're talking about the materials which is going to have to be purchased so maybe the purchasing d says the management department now management might be involved but that sounds kind of like a generic term so i don't think it's d and then e says the cost department and again that sounds what is, uh, the cost department sounds kind of generic i don't think that's right so let's keep a b and c let's go through it again the de uh, department usually responsible for direct materials price variance, either the accounting department, the production department, or the purchasing department. Of those three, the accounting department seems fairly generic as well, you know, because it's not just going to be the accounting department. It's going to be the people involved with the direct materials are the production department and the purchasing department, typically. Now, if we're talking about the price variance, we're talking about people that we're, we're breaking the difference between uh, the material costs up between price and quantity typically and of these two the purchasing department is is going to be in charge of price while the production department is typically going to be responsible for quantity and that's one reason we break that variance up between those two so that we can basically assign between the the departments involved so we're going to say uh, c here final answer Department usually responsible for the direct materials price variance, C, the purchasing department. Next question. A variance between actual overhead costs incurred and the budgeted overhead costs based on flexible budget is the A, overhead variance, B, quantity variance, C, volume variance, D, controllable variance, E, rent variance. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. A variance between actual overhead costs incurred and the budgeted overhead costs based on a flexible budget is the. So we have the overhead variance. So it's going to be kind of a, a generic term. We'll keep it for now. The quantity variance. So the variance between the overhead costs incurred and budgeted overhead costs. So it seems like cost it doesn't seem like quantity variance is reasonable. Uh, C says volume variance, and that seems like kind of, it relates to quantity, right? The volume seems like it's kind of quantity, and we're looking at, uh, we're looking at the overhead costs incurred and budgeted overhead costs. I don't think it's volume. And then D says the controllable variance, so that might be the case. And then E says rent variance, and rent may be part of overhead, but that seems a little specific. So let's go through this again. Uh, variance between actual overhead costs incurred and budgeted overhead costs based on flexible budget is the A, overhead variance, or D, controllable variance. In the other two, we're actually calling this D, 
the controllable variance. So final answer, var uh, variance between actual overhead costs incurred and the budget overhead costs based on flexible budget is the D, controllable variance.